Now we've got new de details about that tragic accident at the Ohio State Fair. The victim's family is speaking out as concerns grow over ride safety this morning. ABC's Alex Perez is on the scene in Columbus, Ohio with the latest. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Michael. Investigators are going through every inch of the accident site, searching for any clues that might help them figure out what went wrong here. The fireball at the ride at the Ohio State Fair broke and people went flying. This morning, new details about the ride behind that fatal amusement park accident. It busted and people went flying. Documents obtained by ABC News show the fireball passed state inspection by four different inspectors just hours before the deadly accident killed one and injured seven riders. The documents from the Ohio Department of Agriculture say the ride, which earlier this month was used without incident at a state fair in New Jersey, passed more than 35 inspection criteria on Wednesday. Wednesday, checking off items like no visible unsecured items and motors, clutches, and controls functioning. But this morning, questions about what exactly went wrong. I saw their face before death. Like, they knew they were hitting the ground. They knew they were about to die. The ride's manufacturer instructing officials everywhere to cease operation of the ride until further notice. Officials in North Carolina, Illinois, California, Indiana, New Jersey, and Kentucky immediately following that order. The fireball, manufactured by Dutch company KMG, swings riders 40 feet above the ground, spinning them at 13 revolutions a minute. The company now among those investigating what happened to cause one of the six spinning gondolas to detach from its supporting arm. According to the CPSC, there have been 22 known fatalities associated with amusement attractions since 2010. Whether it be bolts, whether it be welds, whether it be metal fatigue, or, or something along those lines. It, it obviously had to do with the structure, but what and what caused it, we'll have to wait for that. This morning, the family of Tyler Jarrell, the 18-year-old victim who had enlisted just last week to be a Marine, wants answers. I would like to know why it happened. If it was supposed to be safe and, and everything was supposed to be inspected by everyone before the tragedy happened, then it should not have never happened to begin with. And authorities say it could be days or weeks before the investigation here is complete. As for the other rides, officials say they will remain shut down until they can all be reinspected. Michael? All right. Thank you very much, Alex.